yo yo what is up what is up it's me it's me it's me it's key and i am back with another video game four ladies and gentlemen was supposed to be a win tonight well last night Sixers are up 18 at one point end up losing a game by three Almost the same score as game one, almost. Just just about. He's supposed to bring momentum. This will be one game three. Two to one. Go to Atlanta to close the series out. Come back home and get rid of the Atlanta Hawks. But I knew it was gonna be a dog fight. Just knew it was gonna be a dog fight. No Danny Green. He's out with a calf strain. He's gonna be out for a while. No, we can hold down the fort without Danny Green. Yes, we're going to miss his three-point shooting and his defense. Yes, Danny Green does do a lot to this team. So we're like, all right, we're going to hold down the fort while Danny Green is going. He's going to either be Cork Moss is going to start. I was going to start. So Cork Moss get to start. Um, Sixers look good in the first half. Look good. In the second half, shit show. JoJo got hurt. He tweaked his knee. You can tell he was in pain. It wasn't himself. For the first time, I, he he was letting his emotions get to him. He would go to the rim. No calls were were being being called. The refs were horrible as usual. This whole NBA playoffs, not just the Sixers, all the refs in all the games that I've watched has been shitty. Um, you can clearly see he didn't have any lift. When his but his shots, he was four for twenty. I've never seen him shoot four for twenty with seventeen points, and he had twenty one rebounds. Four of twenty. He was zero for twelve in the second quarter in the second half, missing that key layup, which is automatic for him at the end. That could have put the Sixers up, and we could have won this game. Can't, can't, at least we could have came out with a win. So when Joel is off, who's going to step up for us? Ben Simmons? He almost had a triple-double. Tobias Harris led the way with 20 points. Somebody else has got to score and take over this game when our dominant center and our main scorer is not going to. Or is having issues. Or is foul trouble. Or having his shooting woes like he did last night. 4 of 20. Where else are the points are going to come from? Kirk Myers had an okay game. He had 10 points. You know, Thibault was going to be Thibault. He'll get you some. He'll get you some buckets. You know, the only the only play the game got kept in was because Shake off the bench was doing something. The White Howard is going to be the White Howard. He got you 10 rebounds. He did move into 12th in the rebound uh, list. So, shout out to the White Howard there. Curry was okay, he had an okay game. But where are these points going to come from when Joel is not having a good game? Someone else has to step up. We look like we was trying to, in the words of Doc Rivers, he was saying, it looked like we was playing hero ball. We can't play hero ball. We just got to go out there and play the basketball like I know the Sixers can play. Is this game hurting and upsetting? Yes. It gets under my skin, but at the same time, it's just like, come on now. We we all know the Sixers can dominate and play basketball. They was up 18. Trey Young, last night, he had, I think it was like 20, 27, or he has 20-something points, but he had 18 assists. He didn't really have that good of a shooting, but he can tribute the ball. And they went up, they went with that, that lineup, it was Collins, Gallinari and McDonavich, I think they were looking at. You know, that was a good lineup that Atlanta had. They, that was the best for them, and, and it worked. Game five, crucial game. Got to win it in Philly on Wednesday. Give Joel some rest on Wednesday. You know, Tuesday. Back at the back in the trap Wednesday. Let's get this dub. Let's take it back to Atlanta. And finish this series off because right now in the east we're the best team in the east right now because the nets they lost Kyrie Irving to uh, ankle injury 
he's not playing game five. So it's just three. So that series is taking a turn. Milwaukee could possibly win the series. But Giannis is so one-sided, and it's just Middleton. Like, they're, the Bucks are hot and cold. One night they're shooting people's lights out, and the next minute they are horrible. And I still believe we can go to the championship. We can beat the, we can beat the Bucks if they do win the series. The Bucks are beatable. Just like the Hawks are beatable. So I'm not going to point too many fingers. As a team, you win as a team, you lose as a team. It was a whole team effort. Doc should have made some type of adjustment to the team, what was going on. So it's a, it's a, it's a team effort. Got to do better. Got to do better. But, um, yeah. Sixers lose this game for 103 to 100. Wednesday night, we were back. I'm at it. Wanted to make sure, um, you know, I'll give y'all at least some content this week. This week's going to be busy for me. Um, but I'm going to try to, um, you know, give you at least some videos, if not no live games. Ne um, hopefully, next week we can bring some live games, uh, whether it's the Sixers, somebody in the NBA, um, you know, just covering some NBA playoffs. And then on the 4th, I will be in the building at Citizens Bank Park um, to catch a Phillies game on the 4th of July. It's going to be me and my son and um, my brother. So, get y'all some shots there. Get y'all a little pregame of that series with the Phillies and the Padres, 4th of July. So, make sure you stay tuned for that. But, I appreciate everyone who follows me. Uh, for all your Philly sports, whether it's Sixers, Flyers, Eagles, and Phillies. Um, you know, we're going to have some Eagles content pretty soon because I know training camp is coming. Um, I'm trying to go to a preseason game, so just to see what every, you know, everything is looking like for us. And um, again, I appreciate everyone who is following. Make sure you hit that bell for all the notifications, whether I'm live, whether there's videos like these. Yes, either I'm in the car or in the house, or somewhere in the building with four walls, I'm going to give you this content. I'm in the car most of the time because it's convenient for me. If everybody asks, well, you're always in the car. How are you always in the building? It's just convenient for me um, to do things in the mornings or on my way home from work and I get something. It's just convenient for me to do it in the car. Yes, I do do stuff from in the house. We're in the actual building, but yes. But make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. If you need the merch, I got you covered. Whether it's hats, t shirts, hoodies, just make sure you hit the link in the description. Go support me. Um, as always, guys, I'm always around in the building somewhere, whether it's on my channel, whether I'm in somebody else's channel, Spotlight Sports Network. Wherever, I'm always in the building. And I'll see y'all in another video.